This is one of the reasons that I like hiking so much. It's exceptionally peaceful. As you can see, when I'm not talking, all you can hear is the river. But I also like it because it, it requires a lot of thought. You might think that you're just walking through the woods not thinking about anything, but uh, that's not the case. These rocks here are really loose and you're coming down a pretty steep slope a lot of times. Uh, so every step has to be plotted out. Every step requires thought. Otherwise, you're gonna end up sliding. Uh, and on this stuff, sliding is not fun. I've done it. Uh, so, yeah, it's not just like hiking through the woods back home where it's pretty much flat. Uh, this is either an upgrade or a downgrade slope. And the whole time, it's pretty rocky like this, so you gotta pick your way through. It's actually a lot like mountain biking. There's the trail, and within that trail is a good trail and a bad trail. The bad trail is the one that's going to end you up on your face because the gravel was loose or uh, there was something in the way. Something basically is impeding your progress. And the good trail is the one that's going to hold you up and keep you going and get you where you want to be. So, it's a matter of spotting it and following it, which sometimes is a fairly difficult task. So, there is my philosophy of hiking. I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed it. You also have to avoid digging branches into you that have thorns. They like you much more than you will ever like them.
when you're sitting at home and uh, here on the patio, a mosquito bite it seems like the biggest and most uncomfortable deal in the world. You swat at the mosquito as soon as it, as soon as you feel it. <laughs> Out here, you could pretty much care less. I mean, obviously you want to be conscious of what is biting into you, but for the most part, there's constantly bushes hitting you and things like that. Oh, a little lizard. Uh, yeah, so mosquitoes. <laughs> um, here you don't even know what's hitting you. And uh, I mean, you come back. The last time that I went hiking, I came back and I noticed a lot of mud on my legs. Didn't know exactly what it was. So I started to wipe off the mud and some of it really wasn't coming off. So. I looked a bit closer, there was a leech, so didn't know what to do about leeches, uh, so I just pulled the one off, and then uh, the other one I tried to pull off, and as I was pulling it off, uh, it, it sucked on with both ends. So as I pulled one end off, and I'm trying to get the other end off, uh, the opposite end that I already pulled off trying to get me again so that was pretty fun and then when I got home to clean up a little bit more I noticed when I took my sock off that there's another good hole in my leg under my sock because the one had been in there got its fill and then left I think I'm just about back to where my bike is. Just make it home in time for dark, which is exactly how I planned. That's the kind of crappy thing around here. If you want to do something like this, you either have to have the day off, or <coughs> you have to uh, go really early in the morning, because it gets dark really early, so you obviously can't go hiking. Uh, but even biking on the road, it's really dangerous. So after dark, I don't really go biking for long distances. If I have to go, I go to the store and back and that's it. It's just too, too much of a risk. If I'm saying that, then <laughs> it's really too much of a risk. Actually, a girl yesterday, I ended up going to a pub quiz and this girl had both of her arms in casts. Um, 
she broke both of her elbows at once because uh, she was biking and bit it on her bike. But you can see my bike sitting down there waiting for me. Good thing. It'll be a lot more quick than uh, doing the rest of this on foot. Alright, this is where I'll leave you for now. This is my uh, projected tra trajectory. We'll see if I make it.